so here we go. It's Attack from Mars on the At Games Legends Pinball 4K machine. Just want to do a uh, quick rundown on this as uh, so far, I'm going to say this is the best of the Zen tables that has been presented. Of course, there's only been um, Adam's Family and Snoopy prior to this, but I'll get into why I think this is the best example. Give you a closer look at what that play field looks like. I mean, if you're familiar with the PC version, you can obviously tell that it doesn't have quite the dynamic lighting that the PC version does, but that's okay. All right, so what I want to real quickly address is some things that uh, I've noticed in comment sections. Um, number one, being this backlash and people going, hey, fit it to the entire screen, to which I say, no, maintain the aspect ratio, because that's the actual aspect ratio of the uh, back box. Number two is flipper lag. Is it there? Yes, but it's minimal. And I'll try and give you an example. Oh, before I do flipper lag, let me mention this. People are complaining that, hey, I can't see the ball that's in the launch bay. It doesn't really matter. It's a push button launch. One thing that they have done is they've allowed us to pull the plunger and that'll actually launch the ball. But okay, here we go with the, uh, the inevitable flip test. So you can see it's still there, but it is by far the most playable um, that has been of this batch. Uh, and you'll see that in gameplay, I'm able to react really quickly to uh, balls when they were like about to drain and bounce and, and you gotta do a fl quick flip. I'm not able to do that on Adam's family. I'm able to do that on this machine. Um, if I have a complaint, it's gonna be this. You'll notice these inserts, they're a little bit oval. So this whole table is squished down slightly. So there's a, a, everything has, all the way even up here, nothing is a perfect circle. Now, part of that is to give a perspective angle, but it does throw me off a little bit. And meanwhile, at the very top here, you've got all this real estate up here that is completely unnecessary to see. If they had have just stretched beyond that, None of this would have to be stretched, but that's like my own one small complaint of this. But enough about that, let's look at me actually playing the game. So something that I've also read a lot of comments about is people complaining that the flippers are a little bit like wet noodles, that you can't get it up the ramps. Uh, not having a problem with that. The main ramp... Oh, let's try and get that. Sucker bed over the middle. Okay. Uh, the main ramp that they're having a problem with is hitting this uh, light lock. And it does slow down a little bit, but that to me feels like nothing different than what I felt in uh, the previous versions of this game. I Honestly, it's been a long time since I played this in real life, so I couldn't tell you what it feels like in real life either. Um, in real life, what pumps out of there at that scoop, I've had everything from it doing straight down the middle to just being a little and it dribbling down to being it rocketing out. Um, so I don't really have a comment as to if it's perfect or not. But see that little moment right there, where I had it up and it came and it tipped and went straight. On Adams, I wouldn't be able to react fast enough. That ball would have gone down. On this one, I'm able to react. So, like I said, oh, while there is some lag still and there's some improvement that can be still made, is kind of minimal on this table. I'm finding it very easy to play. We gotta save the Statue of Liberty! 
Now, if you know anything about me, I'm all about stroke multi-ball on this table. And of course, you can tell by how bright this table currently is. You know what the inevitable answer is. Stroke multi-ball on here did not what stroke multi-ball needs to be by any stretch of the imagination, um, which is unfortunate. But I think I'm like the only one that really cares. Well, Jared cares too, but watch what happens if I let it bounce. It's almost an instant train every single time. It's rare that you're not able to. So you almost have to catch it every single time. No, straight down the middle there. All right, well, there's some quick gameplay. I just want to give you that, uh, just some thoughts and notes on this one. Let you guys see what it is. Uh, it's $5 right now <laughs> in the ad game store. Uh, $5 well spent uh, if you're going to be going for this. I, Again, of the three tables that are available, Snoopy, Adam's Family, Attack from Mars, Next week, we'll have uh, Star Trek Next Generation available to us, and the week following, Twilight Zone. Um, this one has been playing the best, and I don't know if that's because this has been previously converted for uh, Apple Arcade, you know, so it's had a mobile version done before, if it was because the transition from this into Unreal wasn't that intense. I think the real test will be with these next two, with Next Generation and uh, Adam's Family, both having been created in Unreal only, uh, never the opposite way. But we'll find out.
Group threat. 